Ready? Let's do it. Okay. First of all, I was thinking to myself, how many years have you done opening day? Like what year in a row is this for you? Oh my gosh. So my first opening day was um, 2002 with the Dodgers. I was in the big leagues before, but as far as like first opening day, so gosh, 2002 and then pretty much every, everyone since. Um, right. So this is, I'm not supposed to be here right now. How does this feel? It's, um, and I, I know people have used this word surreal a lot. So it, but it is real. It's like, you know, you're quarantined, you're with your family and you're playing games. And, um, but when you do get out and, you know, go for walks um, in the middle of the day, no one's out on the streets and no one's on the beaches, parks. And it's just being in Southern California and, and to kind of go through this, it, it's really crazy. Um, it's a scary time as far as the unknown. Um, obviously, from my vantage point, we want to play baseball. But we want to make sure everyone is healthy. And I'm optimistic. Good. People need some optimism right yeah. now. Yeah. So you talked about in your house, you're playing games. I think there's a lot of what's everybody doing behind closed doors right now. So what's yeah. a, day, a day like for you guys? All right. Here we go. Um, it, it, it's a uh, 7.30 wake up because of my, I have one of three dogs that wakes us up early. Um, truth be told, my wife is the one who gets the dogs out. Um, then it's kind of get up, get a nice cup of coffee, um, check out uh, what's on the news and kind of get that update. And then my wife and I go for a walk. Um, kids get up, they do their online classes. One's in college, one's in, uh, in high school. And then um, my wife starts thinking about what to make. I start thinking about what to pair with that meal we're gonna have. Uh, Running the dogs and what just wine? Kind of, what wine to pair with that meal? <laughs> with that meal, that's right, Liz. So it's like you know, today we had some. Uh, we had she made this kind of. She hasn't made meatloaf in forever, and so it's very underrated. So I went with this this uh, 2009 uh, Washington State Cabernet. So it was it was a perfect pairing had sushi um but yeah run the ball at the dogs and kind of watching a lot of hallmark um yeah hallmark. So that's hallmark. the choice wholesome right. hallmark programming yeah it, it's great program i love it it's just kind of it's good and holly robinson and pete is a friend of ours so we like supporting her um then i check up on the players um it's been good. A lot, yeah a lot of facetime texting with the guys, um, front office, um, coaching staff, just kind of making sure, just trying to keep everyone's spirits up. And it, it's, it's one of those things, Liz, where we, we hear little bits of things of the season's gonna start, we don't know when it's gonna start. Um, so we, we're kind of trying to figure out where we're at. Which player calls the most? Um, so which player calls the most? <laughs> I, I think, um, I probably have talked to Mookie the most, uh, Kenley, Clayton, I, I kind of, Justin, I kind of try to, it, it's like all your kids, you try to love on them just as much and not try to give too much preferential uh, treatment. What are they saying? I, we saw Kirsch, he posted something today. He was, his wife posted something today. Well, he, was yeah, shooting, right? he was killing it. He, he's a ringer in every sport. Um, what are they saying? What are their, how are they feeling about this? How are they staying in shape? Are they staying in shape? What's going on? Well, outside of Kirsch, Kirsch's uh, little papa shot thing that he was doing and keeping his left arm in shape, right. uh, he, he is throwing into a net. Uh, he's got a weight room right at the house, so that's good. Um, and a lot of these guys are trying to keep their core. They're doing a lot of home work, uh, workouts. But that, the, a lot of the rotation, as far as the position when you're swinging a bat, you don't want to come back and, and blow out an oblique. Um, guys are definitely going stir crazy, but it's kind of trying to keep their minds, their bodies focused um, on hopefully a season. I was just talking to Clayton today, and um, there's kind of thought about, you know, should it be two weeks, three weeks, four weeks for a spring training? And usually we're dealing with six weeks. And he was kind of of the mind of let's just kind of shorten it up as much as we can. And the fans, us, we want baseball. So uh, if Clayton can say two weeks will be enough for a starting pitcher, that's good enough for me. Okay, so you know, it really is the number one question that everyone, if I'm on Facebook or anywhere, the number one thing fans ask, Liz, when's baseball start? Oh. Take a stab at it? 
gosh, I don't want to get in trouble from uh, our ownership or the commissioner, but if I had to take a stab, I would say um, sometime, gosh, midsummer. I don't want to, I don't want to put a date. This is just my opinion and I don't know anything. I mean, I, I hope sometime when the calendar says June, <laughs> but you know what, again, this is just you and I talking with, a bunch of people listening, but with but a couple again, friends, don't worry, Dave. Without all the friends, yeah, don't <laughs> hold me to it, guys. This is my hopeful, optimistic attitude. Okay, that's good optimism. It'll make them feel good. And what about the All Star Game? Here it was supposed to be the year of the All Star Game at Dodger Stadium. What do you think goes on there? Well, I, I think that you know logic has got to prevail. So again, this is just you and I talking. My my opinion. Uh, there's a little Dodger bias, but I think that the city. Um, what uh, we've done with the ballpark and Jan and Marie's done with the kind of the renovations that we're all going to see soon that are going to be amazing. And I've seen bits and pieces. It's amazing. Um, so I think that it's one of those things that we need to just push the all-star year back. And so as we had it for 20, it's going to be ours in 2021. And the team that was committed in 2020, we just kind of move it back. And um, I, I think that logic's got to prevail. That's a good idea. I like that idea. I think that everyone expects, look, every year everyone expects this is the Dodgers year and the Dodgers should win the World Series. And I know what you're going to say. You, Of course you want to win the World Series. But with everything that's gone on with the Astros and the Red Sox, this is a season, if there ever was a season, the fans really want to see the Dodgers go all the way. What do you think? I, I love it. I echo that. Um, I, I'm, I'm feeling our, our fans and you know what, it's, it's just our fans are just so they're knowledgeable, they're passionate, they care. And I, I a little bit, I, I like the way seeing how upset they were because, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, you see me and you know me where, you know, as a manager, you got to take the high road at, at times. And our, our fans had the organizations back and um, it, it was good to see and hear. And um, but we we're moving forward. Uh, we're trying to. Uh, take care of this coronavirus and everyone, which has been great to see people banding together and helping one another and, uh, you know, implement the social distancing. But once we do get this thing going, um, I, I absolutely see it very clear that 2020 is going to be the year of the Dodgers. That'll make everybody really excited. And they need hope right now, Dave. They really need it because no one knows what to expect. So let's let's think about tomorrow as though that was the Giants. Kirsch was going to be on the mound. You guys were going to play. We were going to be there. The bunting was going to be up. It was going to be that beautiful day, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 See, you see what I miss the most. I can visualize it. I can see it. I've been there so often. What do you miss the most? What will you miss the most tomorrow? I, I think that, and I'm as optimistic as anyone, but I just think that sense of optimism, you know, it, it's baseball is different in the sense of, you know, you just, people have that marked on the calendar for months and, you know, you're taking families out there. Um, the day is always pretty. And as you mentioned, the bunting, the flag, the flyover, um, you know, there's nothing better than those Dodger white unis. And um, to hear Joe call a game and, here, play ball, the anthem, and, and I just think the optimism, and I and I know for me, when I go to bed, it's like a sleepless night. I just can't wait. I get excited, and the butterflies start flowing at, gosh, 7 a.m. First thing I do, I think about that first pitch, and you know, we were uh, the major league season that is upon us. So, it's not going to be tomorrow, unfortunately, um, but I am hopeful.